Five reasons electronic rider aids are utter bullshit. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. 37 degrees out. Doesn't stop Cycle Cruiser, baby. Woo! <laughs> I'm on my WR 250R, baby. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I got my heated grips on. Oh man, got a, a tank full of gas. I'm ready to roll, baby. Have a good time out here. <laughs> but anyways, you know, way back, I think like in 2013 or something like that, I did a video talking about electronic rider aids and bullshit. And a lot of you guys said, Cycle Cruiser, man. You never experienced electronic rider aids, dude. Oh, I thought that was a cop. I was about to <laughs> But uh, I forgot I'm on the WR250R. No worries. <laughs> no worries about those speeding tickets. Uh, but yeah, you know, a lot of you guys are like Psycho Cruiser, man. You gotta, uh, you gotta experience it for yourself, man. Talking, uh, about something you never experienced. So what does Psycho Cruiser do? He goes and buys a Ducati X Diablo with all the electronic rider aids, the Techno Cruiser. And uh, I'll tell you guys, electronic rider aids are still bullshit. And I'm gonna give you five reasons why. Number one, first off, it raises the cost of motorcycles now. Motorcycles are so expensive now, man. And I'll tell you, I got some twisty action right here, baby. <laughs> some crappy roads, and I got the perfect bike for these crappy Ohio roads. But anyways, yeah, these bikes are expensive as hell now with all this electronic rider age on there, man. Man, there was a time the super bikes used to be in super sports or anywhere from like, like seven to ten thousand dollars. You know, I bought my 2012 CBR1000 WR for $8,999. It, you know, it was a leftover new. But even brand new, I think they're only like $12.99 or something like that. But for, uh, it's too damn expensive. These bikes running up to like $20,000 plus. I mean, the brand new CBR1000 WR is freaking, uh, how much is that like now? Like, like $16,000, $17,000 or something like that. And uh, you got the, of course, the, um, uh, Kawasaki, all of them are like 17,000 plus. So it's like, uh, it's too expensive. And number two, uh, it, uh, people get a false sense of security with the electronic rider aids, man. They really do. They think if they put that traction control on, the power modes or any of that, that's gonna keep you from having a real effed up day. And this is why I love the dual sport, guys. It takes me to uncharted territory. <laughs> Woo! Um, but yeah, they think it's going to help you guys. Honestly, the electronic rider aids on the super bikes are really best suited for the track, to be honest with you. It's going to let you be able to push the bike a little faster. And uh, But on the street, do you really think traction control is going to help you with, with uh, gravel? It's really going to help you against that car that's about to run up in the back of your Nope. <laughs> and I can tell you firsthand, at least with the Ducati X Diablo with traction control on, that big 240 rear tire slides all, still slides on, um, on gravel. So it doesn't help, really, to me. Uh, and number three, it brings me to number three, is that uh, it reduces the reliability. I had viewers that tell me, it's like, dude, all you see in the shop now is these new bikes with all these electronic problems and shit, man. And, uh, it's true. Anytime you have electronics, you're gonna have problems. Just like with this GoPro Hero 6, man. With the, uh, with the audio problems that I had. I don't know, I think it was attributed to a, um, a power bank. And this look awesome or what, man? Dude, I gotta get a drone, for real. That would be so sick if I got a drone, and I will. But anyways, uh, yeah, reliability, man. I mean, take all that shit off.
off. That's why if I ever get a dirt bike, I'm getting a straight up two stroke with a car, man. I don't need, I mean, fuel injection is good. Don't get me wrong, but not, it doesn't belong on a two stroke though, man. I don't know what the hell they're thinking. You don't need it, dude. Just rejet it if you're going to head up to the mountains. And, uh, we got some off-road action here, brother. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. This is what you, this is what I love about the dual sport. But anyways, number where am I at? Number four, number five. Um is that it slows the bike down. That's number four. Woo! <laughs> oh, this is fun. I just had to see if I can get over this. Woo! Did it baby! leaves and mud rear sliding all over the place it's awesome man but yeah it slows the bike dude I have a great acronym I want my bike to have FTAT I say FTAT them electronics FTAT full throttle all the time I don't want full throttle all the time. I don't want no electronics slowing my down. I want to be able to get on that throttle and crank the hell out. <laughs> Anytime I want to. I want to hear none of that bull. Uh, I don't need no electronic rider aids. And I'm no professional track star that I need to push it. Damn, look at this. This is all awesome. Gosh. This is sick, bro. I hit gold, man. But yeah, that's my new acronym, FTAT. FTM Electronics. I want full throttle all the time, baby. All the time. Holy smokes. That could set me up for a real effed up day. <laughs> I better turn my butt around, boy. Slide right down that hill. But anyways, number five. Let me get out of here. Number five is it wastes time to sit there and be scrolling through those stupid menus. Waste so much time when I could be riding, man. I don't need to sit there and be scrolling through all the menus. Man, I just want full throttle. I want F tat full throttle all the time, baby. You don't no damn electronic rider aids. You need a a dual sport. That's what you need, dude. All right, can we get? Yeah, we did it, boy. <laughs> Got some log action. I'm telling you, this little WR 250R is awesome, man. A lot of you guys about to wait. Man, get out of here with that bullshit. Most of us don't do no crazy hair scram. I mean, some awesome hair scrambles. I should say awesome hair scrambles. Most of us don't race. So just messing around, this bike is plenty fine. And, uh, man, look at that swamp there, boy. Let's go through it anyhow. <laughs> this is a, oh my goodness, I hit gold out here, brothers and sisters. Woo! See, I love it. This technical ride, and I love this. Woo! Awesome. Got some low, oh, action. Screw the electronic rider aids, man. I want full throttle. All the time, baby. <laughs> Woo! I'm on my WR 250. Oh, baby. You see, I have the most fun when I'm on my WR 250R, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't need no super bike. Man, it's a sketchy road, dude. 
<laughs> Dude, I struck gold, brother. I love this place, man. But anyways, guys, I know a lot of you girls at Cycle Cruiser, you're talking out of your ass. Electronic rider aids are awesome, dude. You gotta get with the times. Forget that, man. I want full, I want f tat baby. f tat Full throttle all the time. I don't need no rider aids. I just need my WR250. Oh, baby, having a good time out here in Ohio country. <laughs> yeah, baby, I need to find some more locations, too. It's awesome. I'm telling you guys, forget that supermoto man out here in Cleveland. You got to have the dirt wheels so you can roll off any time. Go do some long action. Some off-road action. Then get back on the road and get some twisty action. <laughs> I gotta be careful though because my rear tire may slide out on me. Woo! <laughs> oh baby. Now it's time for some twisty action. So have me some fun off-road action. And you I'll tell you guys, you guys gotta get your WR 250. Oh baby. Woo! Baby, it's like a cruise is out here enjoying some twist action. <laughs> Woo! Having a good old time out here. But, anyways, guys, for those of you that want to get my gear, you know, my camo pants, my helmet, my gloves, boots, my cameras, tools, leather jackets, everything, I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com click on the menu tab my gear and those are full links to all of my gear if you want to see more of my videos click on the menu tab my videos and uh, i have a bunch of playlists there with my over thousand plus videos categorized into those playlists so hopefully you can find something that will inform you entertain you hey hit thumbs up if you like this video Share this video with your friends and let them know you don't need electronic rider aids. Go and get an older motorcycle that doesn't have all that so you can ride f tech full throttle all the time, baby. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I appreciate all you subscribe to my All in One Motorcycle channel. Also, go check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. That showcases a van that I customized for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods and that channel has everything from build videos trip videos uh, anything and everything bug out moto as a courtesy I included two video playlists one for new riders and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders and also my popular videos playlist hey Hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.